I'm going to show the differences where a right-handed person will make insert their hook for making stitches. I've got some half double crochets here after this chain. So I want to join in my first half double crochet. I'm going to use these two loops that are laying on top of it off to the right. That's where I will make my join. And I'm going to just do a chain one and a single crochet in the same stitch. Now I will do half double crochet in the next stitch. It'll be the next set of loops on top of the next stitch off to the right. Now I'll do a double crochet in the next stitch. Now I'm going to show going between the stitches with three double crochets like I'm making a granny. This is just going between the stitches, not bothering with the loops. If I was doing a granny, I'd skip three stitches, go between the next two stitches. And that would be working between the stitches. Now I'm going to skip the next stitch and I'm going to do a front post treble crochet. So I'll yarn over twice. I'm going to skip that next stitch, that next set of loops in the next stitch. Go be behind and do my treble. So on the back, you know, I've got my one skip stitch there. This is the stitch I'm doing the front post stitch into. So you're going to skip that one. Then I want to do another one in my next stitch. So you go between. And Okay, so now I've got my first skip stitch, my two front post stitches, which I'll skip the loops on top of that one. Now I want to do a double crochet in the next unworked stitch. Picking up those two loops, and I'll do it again in the next one. For a right-handed person, the loops will always be off to the right of the stitch to be worked. Uh, and this is kind of important because if your pattern tells you to do back loop only or front loop only, you want to get that right loop the, right on top of the stitch off to the right. So I'm going to do back loop only, double crochet. And another one. Now I'll do front posts or front loop only. Front loop only. Now I go back to doing both loops, which is just the normal stitch. And your stitches are going to always stack up going slightly to the right if you're continuously working from the front. If you alternate flat rows working from the front and the back, they will kind of stagger each other out. So they'll look more even. But if you're continuously working from the front, it'll always be those two loops that are laying on top of the stitch and going off to the right. As you can see, I'll show you. This stitch was about the last stitch I worked. So this stitch is off to the right a little bit. That's worked into that stitch. This stitch is there. And if you look here, this stitch here in the yellow, this purple one is made in it. Then there's another purple one that staggers over from that. Then this yellow one, see these are all in line, but it slants to the right because all your stitches keep stacking up a little bit to the right for each row. But that's the difference between where you 
place your hook for different types of stitches through both loops to the right in the space between stitches uh, this can be used for granny stitches or other special things that a designer might do in a pattern your front post stitches where you'll skip the loops that are on top you always want to make sure you skip those stitches or else you'll end up with too many stitches uh, that one I got in the space between which I meant to get into the top loops I messed that up but that's top loops top loops back loop only back loop only front loop only front loop only and the regular see if you pull up the stitch you can see that it's just catching those two top loops but that's how regular crochet stitches are made into the top loops to the right for a right-handed person a left-handed person will be the exact opposite the top loops of the stitch will be off to the left a little bit and that's where they'll make their stitches but they pretty much know how to reverse everything uh, that's all there is to it hope this helps